What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have kind of a gene guide for you guys. I want to call it a gene guide, but it's not exactly how all the guides are going to work. So a lot of guides I see is like when a new brother comes out or something like that, and someone like Kairos or Lex or OJ or Pat, someone like that who, you know, who's super into Supercell and Supercell trusts them, you know, they're under NDAs and stuff like that. They have the stats, they have everything straight away, and they tell you guys all these numbers and you know, what the star power is, what the max level is, like what damage it does at max, but I, I really don't learn from that. I don't know if you guys are the same, but myself, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a visual learner. And how I always learned anything, whether it be math, whether it be Brawl Stars, whatever it was, was by watching somebody do it, and then I could try and replicate it myself. So I'm going to show you guys today is two live games and two pre-recorded games about how I play Gene. I'm going to explain what I'm doing step by step, and hopefully you guys are able to pick up on it if not, there are tons of YouTubers who are just saying stats and ranges and stuff like that, such as the ones I said already. So definitely go check them out if you guys are into that type of learning instead of a visual. But this is kind of my type of thing, and I see a big lack of this on YouTube, at least for Brawl Stars. So I thought, why not uh, Why not as well show you guys? So let's hop into the first pre-recorded game. Let's get into it. Okay, so for the pre-recorded games, we're going to be playing with OBJ and Hammy. So in this game, we're going to be facing a Poco, a Rico, and a Gene. And my number one tip that I'm going to say even before going into the game is don't hold your pull. You can, you'll see a competitive game where one Gene will have his pull the entirety of the game and use it once and just try and go for that home run pull. And what I mean by that is by go try and go for the pull like like on the gem carrier for like absolutely no reason. Like I'm sorry, it's a waste. Like there's no reason you have to save your super for the entirety of the time. It takes four shots for you to charge your super. You're gonna get a quick pull on the Rico right there. Bam, it's a three on two. We automatically, since it's a three on two, have possession of the map. We can control it. And you can see this gene still running around poking, and I'm already super close to my super. I'm able to get my super over there. We're gonna take out the uh take out the gene. And then again, I have my pull. I'm able to use it whenever I want. I see a Poco over here. Even though he's really close, I'm just going to get that pull. Tap him three times. Three times. If you tap him three times and get a long distance shot, you're going to get your pull right back. So you can see I have my pull. I've used it twice already before that Gene has used his. Before that Gene pulls me, you know, I was trying to go up and bait him. I knew he was going to pull, so I just backed up. Again, super easy pull onto that Poco. The Poco is going to use his heal. It's whatever. I'm going to get my pull right back, and it, it, it's really irrelevant at this point. So again, the Rico's right beside me. Two shot. Just going to get the pull, be able to take out the Rico, and we're going to have possession over here. So you can see we've hit like five pulls this game, but only one of them was on... Well, I mean, was on someone that actually had a gem. Like, you don't have to save it for people that have a gem. It's the biggest biggest issue that a lot of the genes have in this game is just they save it the entirety of the time just a quick for fun pull on that gene over there and that's going to be it for the first game so again number one biggest tip do not save your pull on the mid if you're able to get a kill 100 percent by pulling a lane 100 percent do so because you guys are going to get your super back and you guys are just going to be able to go right back at it and get another kill now onto the second game this one's going to be a little bit harder as we're facing some really good players and they're playing a really broken comp of Carl plus Rosa, which is really strong. They don't have the Gene, which is a preferred mid. They have a Poco, which basically just buffs that Rosa. So what I'm going to be doing is I outrange the Poco. I know I do. So I'm just going to go close to it at the start, be able to be uh, take it out. And I can see OBJ does go down. I don't know how I'm in the how I'm in range over there, but apparently I am in range. So I'm going to go down. It's whatever. I always don't like. Uh, obviously I'm in range, but I always under under uh, estimate the, the speed of a Rosa. You can see we're struggling over here, you know, lanes aren't one. The mid is coming down. I see Tuni, Tuni, you know, he's one shot for or two shot for me. So I'm just going to be able to go up, pull him, and really easily be able to take him out. And that's going to give us a lane. Hammy's going to go way too close to their Rosa over there. Although he is doing a good job of juking at the moment, he is going to go down. I see that their Poco does have gems. I did think about pulling him at that moment, but Tuni was in the way. And if Tuni, uh, if I hit Tuni by accident, that, that obviously would be really bad for us. So at this point, I have my pull, and I know I spoke about doing uh, hitting lanes with at the start, but now I, I'm really considering pulling uh, pulling Nate just because we need those gems. So you can see that I'm able to take out with the help of Hammy and OBJ. They're mid. Uh, Tuni's going to be able to get his super, and he's going to super out. But I'm able to get a really easy pull on him over there, and I'm going to be able to get that kill. So you can see the Rosa is on the top right over there, and it's basically just about getting the Rosa and being able to get that kill. Um, I'm able to just basically pinch the, the uh, Poco as much as I can. 
just so I can get my super back. You can see Toonie again is low, their mid is low, and I was about to pull, except I wasn't going to be able to do so. So this is a really bad situation for myself. There's literally nowhere for me to go. I tried to take out the Rosa, but I wasn't able to do so. So at this point, it's really late in the game, you know. You have to go for the home run at this point. There's absolutely nothing you can do. So really good kill over there by OBJ. You can see Nate's kind of in the back just healing. You can see the Rose is going really aggro. And I'm just going to get an easy pull over there on the Poco. The Poco really did overextend a little bit. Going to be able to get my super off Tootie and then be able to get that kill. Be able to pull him and then with the help of OBJ and um, and Hammy be able to take out the Rosa as well. So like th this was a pretty crazy game. So you guys saw two Spectrums the, the last game. Uh, two Spectrums in the first two games. You saw us just like dominating throughout the game because we were pulling lanes at the start. And then you saw lost lanes when you had to just go for that home run shot. So this is so both were really good games. I really enjoyed the two games because they're two totally different. And I'm so happy that I was able to get these two games for you guys. And they're actually my first two games. So I know they were pre-recorded. You guys thought we probably went through like 15 games, but no, these were actually my my first two games. So we're gonna hop into a couple live games over here. Now this is so this part's pre-recorded. I recorded this after after my live games. Like even though they were live, like they came. It was after, but I recorded it before because I already had these ones saved. So, my gene is going to be down a, lot, a little bit of trophies. I left the room and I started playing with my IRL friend a little bit. And, I, you know, when you play with your IRL friends, you tilt. You guys know the deal with that already. So, that's going to be it for the pre-recorded games. Let's hop into the live ones. Okay, so here we go into the first live game. And I actually know a couple of these names, so it should be some good competition. Uh, I do have a little bit of delay, but that should be fine. Since this map is mostly auto aiming with Gene anyways. So we're going to try and predict that penny. We're not going to be able to. We're going to get a couple pinches on it. Looks like Alec is likely going to go down over there. Yeah. I'm going to be able to take out that Nita, and we're going to be giving our super off of that. So we're just going to be hiding and moving around this wall, so nothing's able to hit us while we regen, obviously. Going to try and help out Alec a little bit with this, uh, with this Tara. Just going to get a quick pull on her. And should be able to kill her. Okay, there we go. Get to take out that little Tara minion baby thing. Looks like there's a need over here. Hopefully we can take it out. Hammy should be able to do so, so we're just going to leave it to Hammy. Going to help Hammy out with that bear, though. Alec is going to go down. Okay, so lanes are being a little bit not consistent. Okay, so let's see. We're able to take out and bite me. Well, I'll take him out, but get him low. Sorry. Good play over there by Hammy. We're going to get an easy pull over here on their Penny. Hopefully Alec doesn't let him escape. Perfectly done over there by Alec. We're going to pick up these gems over here. Make our move to the right. And we only need one more gem to win the game. Hopefully Alec just goes and picks up that one over there. Or he goes AFK. Both, both things work. Yikes. Okay, so Alec is able to get a kill over there. But Alec going AFK is going to lead to me going down in spawn. Hopefully he can get that kill. One more shot. Okay, he's able to tie. Oh no, my Wi-Fi. Oh my god, no way. Okay, my Wi-Fi did go out for a second there. Luckily we are able to pick up these gems though. That could have costed us the game very easily. Okay, I'm going to take out this bear. No need to rush getting a pull or anything. We have a lot of time, so I'm just going to regen over here. going to take my time with it. Looks like they have multiple people with gems, which is obviously good. For us, it looks like that Tara is going to be able to be taken out. So that's one more gem for us. All we need is one pull from us or just a gem pickup. Obviously, they have a turret over there. We're going to be able to take that one out. Alex going to pick up a gem. And I'm just going to get a quick suck over here on this Nita. Come on, Hammy, take him out. Okay, I'll be able to get that final touch. One more shot for me to get my super, so I'm going to be able to get it over there. Probably going to pull the penny. Yeah, right there, going to be able to pull the penny pretty easily. And that is going to be it for a really panicky first game. Let's hop into our second live game. In the last game, we're going to be showing you guys, and let's see if we can get that dub. Okay, so here we go into our second and last game. Hopefully, we can pull off that dub. Okay, there isn't as much delay this game, so that's pretty OP. So again, we're facing another Gene here actually, so what we're going to be doing is just trying to get our super a little bit before his. I think we're at relatively the same point right now. It looks like he is getting a few shots off on my lanes. And then he's going to probably try going up. Yeah, so we're going to keep it chipped over there. There is a chance that their Gene has super at this point. I'm able to get mine. Oh, he doesn't have it yet. Okay, he's probably super close to it though. I'm just going to give him a quick pull over there. Again, you guys are seeing that it's auto-aimed because it wasn't at maximum distance. 
If you just follow your body, you're going to be able to get that pull. So remember, I'm able to get him over there. Probably going to pull this barley. Yep, I'm going to pull the barley. Again, very close to super. Do not be saving your super for the entirety of the game because you're just going to waste it. You guys can see I've already used two before that Jean's used one, and I'm probably going to end up using three before that Jean's used one because he's just aiming for me. He isn't easy pulling Hammy. Okay, finally he pulls Hammy. I'm going to be able to put on a little bit of pressure, but I can't do too much right now just because there's all three of them alive. That Barley's obviously going to throw his ult. Okay, so that Jean does have pulls. So we're going to back up. We're going to try faking him out. We are able to do so by picking up that gem. We're just going to get this easy pull over here on this Nita. Able to get the Nita, and now we're one shot to our pull. Gonna get that quick pull over there, and able to get that barley. And that should be it, as long as we don't get in range of that pull. Just gonna move back over here, help out Alec a little bit. Gonna be able to take out that Nita. Just gonna pull the next person that walks forward. Oh, okay, yeah, he backed up. That's a shame. But anyways, that's gonna be it for the live games, and that's gonna be it for the games, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of how to play gene like i know i didn't really go into stats and stuff but i find that stuff really really useless and i myself am a visual learner i like to learn by watching other people do things and then i can replicate it so instead of giving stats when a new brother comes out like kairos or lex or oj does they're really good at doing that i'm just gonna stick to my own thing and show you guys gameplay and explain my gameplay and how i do and hopefully you guys can learn off of that so i hope you guys enjoyed these four games uh, a lot of you guys ask for a gene guide since you see me playing gene all the time in competitive this is what I got for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it for today. Catch you guys later. Peace. All right, guys. Now, that's going to be it for the video. Now, a ton of you guys have been asking for something like this. So, I'm happy that I'm able to finally pump one out. As I tell you guys, whatever you guys ask for, I am going to be able to make a video on it. My next video, I'm going to announce who won the con who won the quote-unquote contest, giveaway, raffle, whatever you guys want to call it. For who gets to be on my friends list, the five spots. There are a ton of comments. So, thank you guys. You know, it, it means a lot that so many people want me on their friends list, like even though it's just such a little thing. It's super cool. So anyways, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But that's going to be it for the video today. So like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video. And that's going to be it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.